Today, I'm going over 15 things you did not know about Bloxburg. Before the video starts, we are less than 900 away from 100,000 subscribers. So if all of you watching help out, we can reach the goal before the end of 2023. But with that being said, let's start off with number one. There are parking lines underneath the concrete in front of the hair salon. If I use Shift-P to look underneath the concrete, as you can see, there's parking lines. These have been here since the release of the game, so maybe Coeptus planned to add a parking lot in front of the hair salon at some point? But obviously, it did not happen. And I don't think there's enough room to put a parking lot anyways. Number two is there used to be a skull under the wooden bridge. As of right now, the skull has been removed. But a few years ago, if you looked underneath the bridge that leads to the cave, you would see this skull decoration sticking out of the sand. I doubt this was added on purpose, so it's probably just an Easter egg like the oh hi picture. Number three is you can look behind the main menu screen. The main menu used to have a moving background, but a few updates ago, they changed it to this still image. I'm currently in my neighborhood, so if I use Shift-P and look down, I'm really high in the sky. Trying this doesn't really do anything, but it's still pretty cool to look around. Number four is trees used to be square. Back when Bloxburg first released, trees would become square if you were far away from them. This was done as a way to help improve performance. But as of today, they found another way to optimize the game. You will now only load half the trees on the map, but once you go to the other side, every tree will be loaded. I tested this on the highest settings, so it might vary depending on your settings. Number five is there's a floating bag underneath Block's Burgers. If I use Shift-P and look underneath Block's Burgers, there is this moving bag. This might be some kind of object that makes sure the fast food worker job is working correctly, or it's just an accident that no one noticed. Other than that, it's not really special, but it's there. Number six is changing your plot name used to have a dedicated button. Right now, if you want to change your plot name, you have to click on the name after you load it in. But back when the game first released, there was a dedicated button that you could press. Do you prefer the old dedicated button or the new button? Comment what you think. Number seven is the eating sound used to be different. If you eat food today, it will sound like this. But if you ate food in 2016, it would sound like this. It's definitely a small detail, but it's cool to see how the sound effects in the game have changed over time. Another example of this is number eight, which is doors used to have a different sound effect. Opening a door today sounds like this. But if you opened a door in 2016, it would sound like this. Number 9 is the NPCs at the mechanic job still have the old classic motorcycle. As of 0.11.8, the classic motorcycle now looks like this. But if you go to the mechanic job at Mike's Motors, the NPCs are still holding the classic motorcycle. My guess is the developers just forgot to change it. But if they do fix it, I hope some NPCs will still bring in the old classic motorcycle. Number 10 is progression bars used to look simpler. If you look at your level on a skill or a job, it'll show what percentage you're at. But at the beginning of the game, it would only show the progress bar. That meant you had no way to see the exact progression you were at. It wasn't a big deal at low levels, but once you had to deliver thousands of pizzas to level up at pizza delivery, it was a bit frustrating. Number 11 is you could only do one job. I mentioned this in a previous video, but back in 2016, you were only able to do one job at a time. If you wanted to try something else, you would have to quit your current job and lose all of your levels. That meant months worth of leveling up could get lost just because you wanted to try selling ice cream. Number 12 is the cooking channel used to have a different song. It has actually been through three versions. This is what the first cooking channel looks like. The second version changed the audio to this. And the current cooking channel looks like this. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. It's cool to see how the channel has changed and improved over the years, but I do wish the original song was in the current version, because it's kind of cool. Number 13 is the janitor at Green Clean does not have pants. Uh, yeah. If you go to Green Clean and look behind the counter, you will see this. My guess is the pants got content deleted, and since they're no longer on Roblox, they're no longer on Bloxburg. This will 100% get fixed very soon, because there's no way it was intentional. Number 14 is holding items used to not have an image. When you hold an object, it shows what you're holding. But in 2016, it would only give you the name, an option to interact with it, and an option to drop it. The current version is definitely a lot more refined and a lot better, so I'd consider it a good change. And finally, number 15 is your avatar used to be on the bottom left of your screen. A lot of old players have forgot about this, and a lot of new players were not even around to see it. But the avatar menu used to look like this. It showed your avatar, mood, money, blocks box, and things that affect your mood. 
mode. Both versions have their pros and cons, but I do like having the avatar on your screen. It's definitely a copy of The Sims though. And that was 15 things you didn't know about Bloxburg. Make sure to leave a like and comment how many you knew. Once again, we are less than 900 subscribers away from 100,000. So if you could subscribe, I would really appreciate it. But that's it from me. I hope you enjoyed and make sure to stick around for the next video.